What's up guys, welcome back to Card Spot. my name is Ethan and today we got some uh, tinny boys for you, but not just any tin boys. So we have three of the 2023 tins, we all are familiar with these with the quarter century secret rare promos in them, very nice. But we also have a 2020 tin, which is the old uh, tin of lost memories which has the three mega packs in there as well including the first ever printing of red eyes dark dragoon in the tcg and we have also the gold sarcophagus tin here which is 2019 tin so this was the tin that included the new uh promo cards i guess in nibiru dimension shift dimensional shifter and those kind of things so some pretty cool cards to pull out of here we're going to kick it off with a 2023 tin, and this one we have, ooh, Red Eyes Black Dragon. That's a really nice one. This is, of course, the original Starter Deck Joey slash LOB artwork. Um, in the Legendary Collection, we got the other artwork, but they actually gave us the proper one in this, so we'll take that. That's a rather nice promo to start off with. All right, then we have our three Mega Packs. Now nah, let's just open these up. I want to... <laughs> I was thinking perhaps we'll open all the tins up and look at the promos, but nah. Let's just get into it. So out of here, we're looking for things like Lubalian, Fenrir, those kind of things. So we've got an Ice Jade Erosion, Melfi Penny, Merry Melfi's, Propagandic, Libra Mounts of Bonded Theory, and a regular... The Weather Painter Moonbow is our super rare. Uh, Yoroshiro of the Aqua is an ultra, as well as Runic Slumber. Into Beyond the Pendulum as a secret rare... And Blackwing Vata, the Emblem of Wandering as well. And then a bunch of other commons there. we got the Ku Klok and the Chandraglia, so I can make Labyrinth now. We'll open up another, then we'll open the 2020 tin, and then the... Yeah, we'll just alternate twins, I think. Tins, not twins. <laughs> Dark Contract of Patent License, Libra Mounts of First Appearance, Scareclaw Baloney, Grand Tusk Dragon, Dynamorphia Salnik, gotta go fast, Ichiroko's Ledger Book, Therian Bull Ain is a super into Illegal Knight as an Ultra, Libra Mansa Fire there as the other Ultra, Skeletal Dragon Felground, and Magic Rebo. That is a pretty ass tin. We did get a Gary, I guess. Yeah, so far, nothing from this tin, but that's okay. We, uh, we'll carry on. We got the Light Law Medium, we got Haunted Zombies, Predator Plant Bifulicula, Ice Jade Sea Note Indian Cradle, Scareclaw Slash, Libra Mansa Fire Burst, Morphtronic Converter as a Super, Runic Destruction as an Ultra, and Tepatseal Coverture as an Ultra, Kishtira Unicorn as a Secret, okay, I'll, I'll take that, honestly, and Rite of Aramesia, okay, we got a better pack that time, that, that's two decent cards, and then of course the Bestial that no one plays. Next 10 up will go the 2020 10 here, okay, alright, three packs of 2020 can i get the common that i'm after <laughs> but there is some really cool stuff in the 2020 10 as well we got dark dragoon we've got appaloosa ip a bunch of stuff that did just kind of get reprinted which is a shame but um there's still some cool stuff in here dun wrestler minutes is sea star heater that's always nice firewall xe dragon is a super into speed lift as another super witchcrafter pottery as an ultra valkyrie schist or sesht and Witchcrafter Edel as a secret. Uh, okay. And then those... Oh! <laughs> I thought it was the trap I needed, but no. But that's fine. We got two more packs. Hopefully, if I don't throw them away, I can get them in there. It's always a bit of fun opening some tins. And of course, we'll have more tins later in the year with the 2024 tins. We got the Violet Chimera, Shathana, Martial Anger, Draw Hand, Neo Flamvel, A Lady, Subterra Succession, Unchained Soul of Anguish, Super Rare is always a good pull. Witchcraft a scroll into Harvester. I think is Harvester okay? I think Harvester's alright. Uh Storm Dragon's Return into Unchained Abomination. Okay. As a secret rare. We'll we'll take that. That's pretty cool. And then the rest of it, did we get the nope, didn't get the common that I need still. <laughs> Got two unchained links though, so that's nice because my unchained abomination is just super from the OTS pack. So I'll take that. We got Salamangrate or Wolvi. We got Al El Maduk. We got oh, I'm not even gonna try and say that. A Dino Wrestler. <laughs> Time Thief Bezel Ship. Glass Souffle. Ixies Sly Dolphin. We got the Blue Tang. 
Abyss Alessia. That's kind of interesting. Potentially more Mermau support coming. We've got Serzil, Watcher of the Evil Eye, Outrigger, Extension, and World Legacy Guard Dragon. Do we have the trap card that I need? Is this it right here? Yo! It is! <laughs> nice! <laughs> so stoked over just a common trap card. <laughs> that's, that's really nice. Okay, we'll take that. <laughs> Alrighty, time for another 2023 10. So what we'll do is so we'll rip on into this guy and see what our promo is out of this. Red Eyes Black Dragon is honestly a pretty good promo to start it off, but let's see what we got in this one. <laughs> it's your boy Neos. Um, which is, I think, a really cool promo, but obviously not that great value-wise, because Neos isn't really that playable. Um, when you do play Neos, you play one in the Omni Hero decks, so let's see what we got hiding in our packs. There's still some pretty decent cards to pull. Really, I'd be keen on Fenrir's out of here, because I actually need a set of Fenrir's right now, and no one wants to sell me them. Ooh, this Dreadwolf has like a... A big old ding in the top. That's fine. It's just a straddle. Uh, Scareclaw, Astra, Therian, Cross, Egoro, Crass, Radiation, Bugroth, Mark II, Silent Wolf, Kalupo is a super. Odd Eyes, Pendulum, Graph, Dragon. Actually seeing some play now in uh, Voiceless Voice decks, so that's kind of cool. Time Thief, Power, Reserve, Exosister, Alice, and Muckraker. Okay, we'll take that. That's also seeing play in Fiendlink. And then uh, the rest of the, the team there. All right, next pack Rooney. Let's see what's hiding in here. Still on the lookout for Fenrir. Fenrir is like really short printed in the tins though. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, when we opened up a case of these tins, we pulled a singular Fenrir, I'm pretty sure. So it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, Kentrogena, Amazonus War Chef. <laughs> I know it's Chief. Overfusion, Branded Banishment, and Exosister Stella and the commons there into our finale pack for this tin i'll take even any bestials to be honest like any of the secret rare um reprints with a forecast i think druis worm is like unironically really expensive from this set now because it's the secret rare sort of rarity upgrade Nutria mole cricket isforce lapsawell scareclaw arrival Hugin, Runic Wings, that's actually okay, that's a couple of bucks. And Ethereum King Regulus, which is also kind of decent. And then the rest of the comments there. Get it run the right way. 2019, this is a five-year-old tin already. Isn't that crazy? We've had Nibiru and Dimensional Shifter for five years. Not that Dimensional Shifter really did much on release, but Nibiru certainly did. So let's see what we've got in here. So in this tin we've got such cards as the Thunder Dragons, some of the Danger cards, uh, Call by the Grave is a um, secret rare, yeah there's some really good stuff in here. So let's see what we've got. We have a Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon off the top, it's all in one pack, so I guess we have to rip into this. I'm pretty sure the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon is actually worth something though. And then we got our three packs. Let's open it up, see what our promos are first off. I don't know how the promos are organized in these packs. I think this might be the first time I've ever actually personally opened a 2019 tin. Ah, the promos are in their own little pack. Well, we're not here to keep things sealed, so let's open this up. Five-year-old tin. See what's hiding in here. We have the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon at the front there. That's very nice. Into Exodia, the Legendary Defender. Dark Ruler No More. That's pretty sweet. Wing Dragon of Ra life of the sky dragon as the original like well not original but they're the kazuki takahashi signed art prints which are they're pretty sweet honestly like that's pretty cool um okay i'm not sure of those which are the ones you always get i'm pretty sure it's ra and slifer you always get and then the other three are randomized but i'm not sure so anyway we'll rip into these packs silver packs interesting it says gold sarcophagus but it's silver that makes no sense heartless drop off cybersal cyclone firefighting daruma doll i remember this was kind of looked at as like something i just noticed these are unlimited edition man when was the last time we had an unlimited edition 10 g's uh mind meld network trap hole as the rare into a great fly as a super Nightmare Unicorn as an Ultra. I mean, that would be cool if it wasn't already reprinted to hell in Rarity Collection. Iron Dragon, Tiamaton, and that's it. Wow, it feels 
that feels rough <laughs> with the tins these days that give you two ultras two secrets getting just one of each feels uh feels weird but that's okay we got the crystal master goki ring trainer backup operator shield handler trickstar bouquet goki moonsault crusadia revival as a rare ddd flame high king genghis reproticus shout out to this guy for like doing all the ftk stuff uh sky striker shizuku okay that's kind of oh we got the ostinato this is actually unironically a huge card from this uh set because uh it's worth like five dollars us as a common yeah crazy all right <laughs> we'll take all the ostinatos that we can get please that's like yeah kind of crazy how how much that common is worth at the moment uh but melodious are doing melodious things so we got fa winners ultra guys to pixiel crystal keeper watch cat prom prompt thorn <laughs> contact gate center frog cybers witch as the super rare into a ultra pancreatops okay that's kind of cool and we got a link monster it's hayate okay so this is obviously when sky strikers were still a thing do we have any more ostinatos no we do not all right no thunder dragons from that tin which is kind of sad i was looking to maybe bling out my thunder dragon deck a bit more but we have one more tin to go, and it's the 2023 tin. Our promo this time will be... Oh, the lad. The absolute Chad Dark Magician. The OG print. The Well, it's the starter deck Yugi print. It's not the LOB print, but it's really nice still. Yeah, we'll take that. Two out of three pretty good promos, honestly. Three packs left here. Let's see what we got hiding on inside. Can we get a Fenrir please that would be real nice but it's been a lot of fun opening up these old tins getting some cool cards out of them Scareclaw Straddle Sales Ban as a super rare another Pendulum Graph Dragon that's cool maybe I'll build Voiceless Voice Amazonist Warchief Psychic and Punisher just got the reprint in Rarity Collection 2 and Ariana the Labyrinth Servant and uh, there's the rares and commons so still Still on the hunt for really anything good from uh, these 2023 tins. They've been a little lackluster. Uh, Skekla Astra, Therian Cross, Libra Mansa Magic Girl, Haunted Zombies, Ursarctic Radiation, Shark Drake Vice as a super rare, which actually might see some play with the new shark support and um, number support. Kestira Prep, Therion Reaper Foom. Lightheart, which is something, I think, and Timaeus, the United Dragon, which is, is not. <laughs> and our last pack. I think Lightheart might be like a dollar or two, potentially. Uh, Dynamorphia Sonic, uh, Aegiro Cassie, that is a big old name. Uh, Light Law Medium, Exes Combine, Propagandake, Gandake, Gandake, I don't know, Supreme Seam here, <laughs> Moonbow into Dynamorphia Domain, Theory on Charge as the Ultras, and oh, a Magnemut as the Secret. We will take that. That's quite nice. Unfortunately, it's probably the cheapest of all the best deals since it's limited, but the now the card is a Welcome Labyrinth, which actually we'll also kind of take. That's pretty decent. And uh, the rest of the comments there. So to recap what we got from the uh, 2023 tins, we got three <laughs> normal monster promos, which is kind of interesting, but two pretty decent ones honestly so we'll take that that's really nice and then uh we got a bunch of other secret rares so as you just saw the welcome labyrinth in the last pack the magnemut the lightheart regulus hugan muckraker cashteria unicorn and right of aramesia so that's uh an okay grab from those tins the tins are very cheap now actually here in new zealand uh the market has kind of deemed them not that great value uh from the 2020 tin we also did reasonably well uh i would i would say from one tin we got an unchained soul of anguish an unchained abomination and an infinite track harvester and then from the 2019 tin our promos were the the these guys here the two god cards dark ruler no more exodia and blue eyes alternative ultimate dragon and then we also got two Sky Striker links, Shizuku and Hayate, and then probably the most expensive pull of the day, potentially, is the Ostinato, <laughs> which is just a common. So that's kind of crazy, but there we have it. That is our random tin opening um, for, your, for your week. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. We've got heaps of content on the way, uh, and I will see you in the next video.